I take this off? Is that okay? I'm a walker. All right. At the walker. Um, <laughs> hi. So thank you so much for that intro. Um, maybe I'll tell you at the end which one is false. But uh, I'm the founder of Project H, and we believe in, in product design for global life improvement, um, that design can enable and empower and heal in any economy, not just the bottom of the pyramid. Um, and so I'm going to show 10 life improving products and then tell the story of, oh God, of, um, of one in particular that's a Project H product, project. Um, this is the Aqueduct. This is a bike concept that was designed by IDEO for um, a competition called Innovate or Die. And it addresses the three sort of main issues of the water crisis, um, transportation, filtration, and um, storage, and all in a very beautiful package. Um, this is the water cone, and I love this because it's so simple. It's, it's two pieces. One is um, this sort of basin at the bottom, and the other is a, a transparent cone, and you fill the bottom with brackish water, and it evaporates and heats up and drips down the sides and um, leaves you with clean drinking water. Uh, next, okay, this is the um, the free condom campaign uh, that Eve Bahar from, from Fuse Project did, and this one little object is part of this bigger campaign. There was a, a TV spot and a, um, some print ads and a whole sort of public health campaign surrounding it. And they're, they're in New York now. There's about 100 of them, um, maybe even 200 now. And they're really just beautiful. Um, this is the Jive social networking tool for grandparents. And my grandmother is like afraid of her TV remote. So this is something that she would, would probably be into. It combines. Um, the functionality of Facebook and social networking with um, tactility. So they're actual objects and there's less, um, you don't have to log on, it's this really engaging thing. Um, this is the green cell universal battery concept. This is one of the winners of the Greener Gadgets competition um, this past February that um, I hosted. And it's a universal battery and it, it works in combination with these vending machines so you can purchase them and recharge them and recycle them all using um, the same uh, vending machine system. This is the CCAP pen, and it's a device to help people take their medication on time. Um, there's a company in Denmark called Medicom that did a study and found that only about 40% of people that, that take prescription medication actually do it correctly and on time. So using this series of um, green and yellow and red lights, you can gauge how, how well you're taking your medicine on time. Um, this is a Freedom HIV AIDS cell phone games, and this was developed by um, a telecom company in India. And there are four games. There's only three shown here, but they're all they're pretty fun. I've actually played one of them, and it, it teaches um, through a game interface about AIDS prevention and um, and treatment too. Next, this is the antivirus cap for hazardous waste, uh, medical waste. Uh, disposal. This is one of the winners of the Index Awards uh, last year, and it's. I love this because it's such a simple thing. It's a rubber cap. That's it. But they designed it as a system so that um, it attaches to any standard soda can, and it enables the the clean and safe disposal of hazardous waste. This is the Wii Fit, which many of you may have played. I'm obsessed with the golf game, and um, it's a U.S. retail product, and it's not for the bottom of the pyramid, but it's a really amazing thing. And it, some people think it's kind of controversial, but um, it, it inspires well-being and health within your own home in a really fun way. And then lastly, this is uh, the LeapFrog Family Health Book. This is developed by LeapFrog, which is um, a U.S. company that designs educational toys. And they worked really closely with a lot of NGOs and, and communities and um, Afghani women to, to, to think about what types of education um, were needed in um, the areas of family health and women's health. And the Hippo Roller. This is um, a Project H initiative that is ongoing. And... Um, I don't even know where to start, but this is, uh, I'm, you may have seen this object, it's similar to the Q drum, it's a little bit bigger, but um, it's been in, ex in existence for about a decade, and it's this amazing thing. It enables the safe and efficient transport of water. Um, this is the problem. Um, you can really only carry about 10, maybe 20, if you're really strong, um, liters of water. And many people have to go like two, three times a day to have enough water for their households. So the Hippo Roller carries um, 90 liters, and it's actually really easy to use. It has an effective weight of 40 pounds. Um, here's the sort of hippo versus bucket scenario. Um, so Project H got involved with Hippo Roller um, back in January. And Hippo Roller had come to us saying, look, we have this amazing thing. It's, it's a really simple and beautiful pro product with very tangible and measurable results. But 
there were still some things that needed to be worked out. Um, there's some design issues, there's some little glitches here and there, and most importantly, there's no real sustainable business model to support it because right now the units are about $80 um, per per roller. Um, so they needed help with the manufacturing and thinking about it um, from a design perspective, but in a more holistic way. So looking at new manufacturing, um, ways to finance them through microloans. So this is, um, we went and delivered, we funded and delivered 75 of them. This is the community that we worked with. And this community is really special because they have, they have hippo rollers, um, they've, they've had sort of every prototype over the past 10 years, and they've been able to measure the social impact of them. Um, traditionally, it's the women and children that go and fetch the water, but because the hippo roller is this like big sort of manly thing, um, the big brothers and fathers are starting to step up to carry the water, and um, they've measured increased literacy rates in women, and more women are starting businesses, and it's it's a really sort of amazing correlation they didn't necessarily expect. Um, so now we're moving into, this is just sort of a storyboard, um, we're moving into the redesign phase in collaboration with Engineers Without Borders. So um, we're looking at ways to make the design more efficient from a product perspective and then also developing um, a better business model so that it can be shipped to further locations and so um, potentially it could even be locally manufactured to stimulate local businesses. Um, this is the, manu the current manufacturing facility that we're working very closely with. It's a rotational molding process. Um, so this is sort of going to be another six or six month or year long project. Um, this is in South Africa. Sorry, I probably should have said that. It's um, outside Johannesburg. Um, the manufacturing facility and the community are both there. And then I'll just. I make T-shirts that say this, and this is sort of my like go-to provocation. But um, I do think design can change the world. And beyond that, I think design is something that. Um, that we should be able to rely on as a source of, of solutions, and it, it should be prescriptive in the way that, that even medicine is, something that we trust and believe in, and we look to answers, um, and we, we believe in its, its ability to, to heal us. So I'll leave you with that. Thank you.